Hello, hi, how are you today? How's everybody doing? Today in this video, I wanna to talk to you about your twin flame is part. So let me give you a couple examples. You know when you were in school and there was some kind of a test and maybe you weren't really like this as a kid, but there was always a kid that like finished the answers and then would put down their pen and paper and be waiting, right? They got through it. They got through it really speedily, right? That's some of you. Or you're sitting at a light and you're just waiting for that light to change and all of a sudden the crossing gates go down because there's a train coming and you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Or you're sitting and you're looking at some of the other drivers and you're going like, who's gonna take off first, right? But this is not a game of chicken to reach the end and it's not a race to your destination. There are things you need to know in this energy and it's gonna be like this until April. So open your eyes and ears. What you need to know is this, pace yourself. There's a really big thing that is necessary for you and that is the integration of your light body. That means not just reintegrating or retrieving soul fragments because really you're not fragmented okay you but there are parts of recapturing your essence regaining your spirit in fact the best way of regaining your spirit actually makes people very entrepreneurial which is a fabulous thing in this economy because it literally helps people reinvent my work has helped people reinvent themselves much more easily than they would have ever believed why is that? Because they begin to be guided by their heart, quite literally, like steered by the heart. That thing we talk about where it's not the ego mind and it's not the doubts and all of the other things, it starts taking on a totally different level and element. The other thing about being parked is about coming back to yourself, okay? Now, this is going to mean a very natural contraction for a lot of people. And that is all, always part of the birthing process. It is part of economic cycles. It is even part of Earth's natural cycles, expansion and contraction. But in your own personal life, your ability to kind of rein it in, pull it in, focus, trim some stuff out of your life, bring some stuff to closure. This is going to require focusing on the small stuff because that small stuff that you do now in this time frame, it's not just for the next season, it's actually for the next year. It's time to get things set up to automate a bit easier and to know what to focus on. Now, I am an intuitive. I'm also a medical intuitive. And I also know I have 15 years of experience with twin flames, twin flame stuff, twin flame ascension, relationships, and the body, because that was actually my initial training. Way back to when I was a teenager, when I was learning massage as massage therapy. So I have a really lot of long history and experience under my belt. Now, you may think to yourself like, but wait, all I really need to do is read some tarot. Tarot's not a bad thing. It was actually created as a card game in Sicily called Taroki, Tarokia. And um, there are cards that pertain to things. And it be later became a divination tool. Is it that bad? No. Is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. Is it something that will integrate your body? Eh, no, that's not going to do it for you. So while it may have been part of your work to get you to this point, it is not going to fully get you where you need to be. You don't have to throw away your cards, but you do have to set them aside as tools that were part of your stepping stones to get to where you are now at this point in time. What about pendulums? Again, pendulums are really good in the beginning, but then after a while you start to doubt. And I even saw this you know, thing about it where, you know, people are trying to get the answers and, you know, making it move. I mean, it was a little bit tongue in cheek humor, but it needs to infuse right through you right in without even a second thought without doubt. And I call that lover's intuition. Would you rather have lover's intuition 
versus being a psychic because lover's intuition is it's advanced it is something that is very deep intimate hence the word lover like you're helping each other across the miles wherever you are you're guiding each other you're guiding each other from up here like what if your twin could be up here and they're saying wait hang on don't 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 make that phone call just yet something else is going to happen or wait don't accept that sales contract you have an even better offer coming like hang on hold on hold on i can see it from up here right but a lot of people don't know how to tap in and tune in to those parts of themselves so that's where some of those tools kind of fail you because they're not as accurate and they're not as um specific with where the message and the details another thing is things like runes you know like we're gonna just throw some bones or runes or shapes or reading tea leaves and yes these are all lovely fun times in the fourth dimension okay good work if you can get it except it is again not going to supersede the real effect of the integration of your light body because it is a brand new structure with things in brand new places why else do you think everyone's going crazy why do you think people are having such physical maladies pop up the fatigue the fibromyalgia the um times when it feels like some body system is going offline and needs a reboot okay we do that with our integration with our integration process it is gradual it is phased in for each stage of the uh, way of doing this integration for your ascension okay medical ascension is also a part of it so we are beyond medical mediums because that mediumship it is intuitive and yet it does not incorporate ascension all of the best stuff of self-improvement is not going to ascend you okay so there are differences and this is important please know that this is very important it's the real reason that you incarnated why did you incarnate here why are we asking these existential questions because you get down here and it's sort of dim you can't remember some people can't remember what they had for breakfast so just imagine something that you pre-planned before your birth where you were given like your survival pack, but that survival pack is inside you. So integration not only does this, it also activates these parts of you that need to begin opening, your channels opening, your additional chakras opening. The other half of you is part is um, you know, parked because they need to get this. Now I've heard many times from people, when are they gonna get their shit? Where, when are they going to get their stuff together? When are they going to get their act together? Okay, they do it when you're leading. How can you create that momentum? You do it through this work that I teach you. You do it through a, a, a session. And it can make you feel like you're both just, you know, bobbing in the water, waiting for someone to make a move. Don't wait. Okay, don't wait. That is the best thing I can say because it is going to be accelerated this year and that acceleration is going to throw people off. So it is better to be proactive, to learn about what you should do, what you have to do and engaging with it as much as possible. So I'm here to help with this. Please check the description below because we do regularly offer classes and sessions and this is entirely new, so it's not out there. There are people that really are, I would say, are suffering with some of the symptoms of this without having a context for it. Please be, uh, you know, proactive. Refer this to someone else, okay? Even some of the people you see out there, they may have found that their niche is the tarot, right? They're good at that or they're a good marketer or something. They're really good at marketing all of that and making it like, but but if you actually see the difference, you're gonna find out that this is the one that is working. This is the one that is bringing results. And we have a 98% success rate with people who continue 
with it. Continuing only means that you're doing something at the pace that we are outlining for you by following really simple instructions, okay? It's not esoteric. This isn't ancient Egypt as much as people love ancient Egypt and all of the things, the amulets, the incense, the pyramids, like I love it too, right? But there was a point in time where that stuff worked for that time. What's going to work for you now is using the inherent connections that are there for your divine connections, okay? Some of the other stuff is earthly tools. Again, not knocking it, Okay. There are people make a living that sell that stuff and, you know, that's fine. They can do that, you know. For many people, though, the real starter pack, it's inside you, okay. So let me know how we can help. We're always here. Please like and subscribe because these videos are intended to be helpful to you also and provide you with information provide you with information about upcoming energies and helping you to navigate that. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye now.